Well, don't let severe weather catch you by storm. Bonnie Schneider is a meteorologist and author of the book Extreme Weather. She's here to tell us how new technology can help keep us and our loved ones safe. Welcome to the show, Bonnie. So why has there been an increase in weather events in recent years? Well, you know, it's really a number of factors. Um, one of the reasons of our population, of course, and uh, you know this in Jacksonville, I'm sure that living there now versus 10 years ago, it's a lot more populated. A lot more people want to be near the water and have that great ocean view. The problem is, as we put more people along the coastline, more people are at risk for extreme weather. And um, that's definitely been an issue. And if, we also have the fact that the temperature has warmed for sea surface temperatures, even slightly as you look back. But any little increase in temperature increases moisture in the atmosphere and that kind of supercharges storms. So if we have a hurricane, it's going to be stronger, a flood will be stronger, um, things like that. So it's really a number of factors and 2017 in particular was a really tough year for natural disasters. In fact, we had 16 of them last year and that's actually up 33% from the previous year. So yes, you're right. Unfortunately, extreme weather has been on the rise. Now, with so many storms and disasters, why are so many Americans remain kind of unprepared with these weather related emergencies? You know, it's incredible because eSurance did a survey where they spoke to a thousand Americans and while 80% of them agree that we have more extreme weather events, only 17% of them said they're actually doing something to get prepared when it comes to technology. And now, even if you look at the past five years, it's amazing how much more you can have available to you to be prepared. And I think if people were weather aware, especially now before the heart of hurricane season comes, particularly for coastal Florida, it's a good idea to take pictures of all your belongings, for example. You know, um, for insurance purposes, if you use your camera on your phone even and go room to room in your home, go around your home and just document everything that's basically around your home every year, you'll be up to date for your insurance information. And you can also download apps that will alert you about the weather, make sure your electronics are charged. And in terms of uh, some other technology tips, you can also angle your security cameras if you have them, I would say, away from your home. And that way you can keep aware if there's any power lines down in front of your house, tree, trees down. I mean, it, even if, as you know, in Florida, even if we don't get a hurricane, this time of year we're getting those really strong thunderstorms that can definitely knock down trees. So it's important this time of year particularly to be weather aware. Now, Bonnie, what are some other trends that you're seeing? Well, I'm definitely seeing um, less people taking uh, heed of weather warnings, unfortunately. So I would really recommend that even if it's a quiet year in hurricane season, for example, you know, this year is forecast to be below average in terms of tropical activity. It only takes one storm. And back all the way back in 1992, the first storm that we had was the letter A, which was Andrew. And everybody that's in Florida remembers that one if they were around then. So um, I, I find that sometimes when it's a little quiet, people tend to become complacent. So I would just advise everyone to be more weather aware and take these electronic steps even that you could do to be prepared for extreme weather. Now you touched on this a little bit, but how can technology help us better prepare for these disasters? Well, one of the best things that we can do is communicate better. And technology helps because often cell phone service is down in when there is a disaster. So if you download an app that you can make phone calls through Wi-Fi, for example, um, you know, a lot of people have that on their phone already when they make international calls, but it's great to have just in case. Um, in my book, Extreme Weather, I also advise that people have an out-of-town family contact. And that's a good idea for everyone in the family to know we're going to talk to our friend a relative who lives maybe in, in your in, if you're in Jacksonville who lives in Atlanta or who lives just a, far away enough that they're not impacted by the storm but you can all get one person so it's not chaos after the fact. Well Bonnie last but not least where can viewers find some more information? Well, they can go to eSurance.com forward slash insights to get great tips on how to prepare for extreme weather. And this way, be ready because uh, we're still not through hurricane season yet. As you know, Matt, we have a lot more to go. Thank you, Bonnie, for joining us. Sure. Jarrett's special thanks to eSurance mm -hmm. for sponsoring this segment. She had a good point. She's good. It's quiet.